Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to use the Apache Tomcat server with the NetBeans IDE. In my previous videos, we installed the Apache Tomcat server and we also installed the NetBeans IDE. Now, in this tutorial, we will see how the two separate tools can work together. During the tutorial, there are some activities that we will carry out. One, we will add the Apache Tomcat server to the NetBeans IDE. Two, we will start and stop the Apache Tomcat server within the NetBeans IDE. In one of my previous videos, I showed you different ways we can start and stop the Apache Tomcat server. But this time, I will show you how we can start and stop the Apache Tomcat server from the NetBeans IDE. There are three main technologies that we are going to work with in this tutorial. The three main software that are involved in this tutorial are the Java Development Kit, JDK 17, which we installed earlier, the Apache NetBeans IDE, and we also installed version 16 previously, and the Apache Tomcat server, which we installed earlier in one of my previous tutorials, and that was Tomcat server version 10. Now, we will be working with these three technologies as we learn how to integrate the Apache Tomcat server in the NetBeans IDE. To do that, let's launch the Apache NetBeans IDE. Now I can launch NetBeans from here or from the Windows Starter menu. I already have NetBeans now running. This is my NetBeans IDE. You can create a new project or open an existing project to be able to perform this task. In one of my previous videos, I created a project which I named demo app and i have just opened that project now to be able to integrate the apache tomcat server in the netbeans ide we can follow some simple steps one if you have your project open the interface would look like this this is my project demo app and this is just the main navigator panel. Here it says project, and here it says files, and here it says services. If you cannot see these options, you can go to window, click on project to open the project tab, then click on files, to open the files tab and click on the services tab so these three icons will help you to open these three menu buttons the shortcut for that are easy to understand Control plus one for the project tab Control plus two for the files tab and control plus five for the services tab. So with these menu buttons active, we can add our Tomcat server to our IDE. You can follow this method or here you can also go to tools and click on servers. You can use these two options to add 
servers to your projects okay i am going to use this option now servers is highlighted to add the tomcat server to this netbeans ide i will right click on it right click on servers and here it says add servers click on add servers great this window will open it says here choose server here we have apache tomcat or tom ee here we have glassfish server and some other options but for this tutorial we want to add the apache tomcat server so click on apache tomcat or tom ee now click next it is activating the java web and ee feature wait and be patient as it activates the java web and ee feature great now this window will open here it says installation and login details specify the server location Catalina home and login details first let's find the server location here if you know the path you can paste it here if not you can browse to find it in our case we will browse to find the location for our Apache Tomcat installation or click on browse great on my computer I installed the Apache Tomcat server on my C drive and this is my Apache half a Tomcat half a 10 installation click open great now it has found it leave this one here it says enter the credentials of an existing user in the manager or manager script role you can find out what your username and password is my username is tomcat manager enter the password leave this checkbox ticked it says create user if it does not exist i'll click finish great now here it says Apache Tomcat or Tom EE. And now it shows servers Apache Tomcat or Tom EE has been added to my list of servers. If I move my mouse over it, it shows the host and the port number. In my case, it's localhost colon 8081, which is the port number that I set it to. Now, to start and stop the Tomcat server from inside net beans IDE, right click on it. And here it says start. And here it says start in debug mode, start in profile mode, restart, stop, refresh, rename, remove, edit server.sml. View server log properties. In this case, we are going to start it. I'll click on start. And it says here starting Tomcat. And now to stop it, I can stop it here. To restart it, I can right click on it and click restart. And here is the output window for information and the start time and so on to view the server we can click here on servers or click on tools click on servers and here it gives more information about my server connection it shows here my username my password and my server port by default the Apache Tomcat server runs on port 8080 but I changed my port number to 8081 and that is why it is showing here 
then short down port is 8005 if you want to add another server you can click on add server and it will bring up this page i'm going to cancel it now and if you want to remove server you click on this one i am not going to remove this server now so i will leave it as it is the information we see here is about our connections if you click on start up you will get more information here if you click on platform and it shows here java platform we are using java jdk 17 by default i mentioned the java development kit 17 earlier on as one of the tools that we we are going to be using uh, you will find that that the platform and deployment we get some information about deployment here enable jd bc driver deployment i'm not going to go into that for now classes sources java doc so you get a lot of information here depending on the icon or button that you clicked on so i'll click back on connection and it gives information about our connection to the tomcat server i'll close it so the purpose of this video was to show you how to integrate the tomcat server into the java netbeans ide and how to start and stop the tomcat server from within the apache netbeans ide i hope you learned something from this video in my next video i will show you more about tomcat server and the apache netbeans ide thank you for watching see you in my next video bye for now